Hello everybody, it's the Quilting Ring Game. <laughs> okay, so I didn't want to leave you in the dark, so I backtracked a little bit. Alright, so the interface is Fusible Featherweight Interface by Pellon or Pion. It's P-E-L-L-O-N. I say Pion, but it might be Pellon. I don't know. Write me and let me know. So, interface. I went with the Fusible featherweight because it's light all right it stiffens up my t-shirts because look at that look at that oh yeah that's ready to be sewn so i went with fusible because i like using fusible you know they have the ones where you sew it into but i'm not going that way i'm hard-headed i'm like a butcher's dog if it works once i don't change okay now look how short this is all right so when you go buy fabric you know you know, you get almost 40, you get between 42, 44 width-wise. You're not getting that here. All right, let's measure this, because I never really actually measured this. So we'll do this together. So this is actually 20 inches. Are you serious? 20 inches? Somebody is smoking crack. All right, but if the prices aren't really that bad, so I don't know why I'm complaining. Look, all right, so I went to the... I went to the um, Walmart, yes, I had to go to Walmart. I was gonna try to sneak some stuff into the basket on my wife, but it was so crowded. I just stuck with the interface, okay. And it was one ninety seven per yard. So you know, I just went with five yards for right now, and it's like, yes, you're right. It's hard to judge for me because here I am making a quilt that could measure out, you know, anywhere between you know, 40 to 50 inches by 75 to 80 inches. And then I'm buying 20 inch strips of, I might as well buy the bolt, you know? Um, the whole bolt is 25 yards, I think. I think it's 25 yards at 197, all right? So don't ask me to do the math. So look, I cut my, I cut my fusible, I cut my um, interface the same way as fabric, all right? I just lay it out, all right? Hey, what's that? I don't know what that is. Somebody, somebody just ripped me off. So, I lay. It. Now look, this is even easier because we're going twelve by twelve, and you can see through the through the interface, right? So, same way. All right, I'm just gonna lay it out. Get my trusty dusty Omni Grip. All right, Omni Grip. I was not saying Omni Grid. It's Omni Grip. All right, so. Measure out my 12, and I use my rotary cutter again. 12 inches, 12 by 12, 12 inch line there. I'm right, I'm right on it. I get my trusty dusty, my trusty dusty rotary cutter, and it's love, all right? You gotta love this stuff. You gotta love what you do, all right? How could you, how could you quilt and not love it, all right? That's insane. All right, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go from here. Look at that! Oh yeah, that's nice. That's what I'm talking about. Where are we measuring? All right, we're on the self filling mat. So where are we going? Yep, you guessed it. Six inch line. I knew you liked it. I know you like that quilting action. There you go. Look at that. Six inch line, straight across. And we got a nice choice piece of interface. Look at that. Yes. All right, don't throw this away, all right? Because after a while, when you start running out, like I know I am, you can start cutting this down and putting that on, you know, your pieces, all right? It's okay if there's a, if there's a you know, a break in, the, in between. It's all right, all right? That's how I cut my interface. And remember, I put my interface, what side? What side goes to the material? The shiny side, right? Shiny side. Not the flat side, shiny side. That's the side you want to attach. And then we take it over to our trusty dusty ironing board. You know the rest, right? Of course you know the rest, because you follow my channel. We're not we're not experts, but we all stayed in Holiday Express last night. Alright? Thank you for choosing the video. Please subscribe. And remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.